Happy birthday to you. Sha, sha, sha. Mentally, I'm here. <laughs> we don't have something to scoop it with. Just grab it. That's disgusting. It. No, it's not. I don't want to touch the cake. Just like get all the way. In I don't want to get all the way. <laughs> May! <laughs> oh, I, I hear it farting. <laughs> <laughs> the most adorable I don't think we let it defrost on your face. That's a perfect mold of my face. My nose is broken. You have a little mustache. That was so funny. It really hurt. Today we are going to be answering 21 questions for my 21st birthday. Should I just wash my face at this point? I think it deserves a nice cleanse. Is it jiggling? I left you alone for five seconds. I was doing the splits. It really hurts. Whoa, you should audition for the Olympics. My butt cheeks are burning. Today, I am turning one. Each group has seven questions. The darker the shade of the car, the juicier the question. These were all asked on my Instagram, at Carter Kent, so feel free to go follow there if you want to be on the next one. You're interviewing me. I'm interviewing you? Yes. I love doing that. First category is soft, like jelly. These are very lighthearted, just like gelatin. Thank you so much for sitting us down today, Carter Kent. You're welcome. That didn't make any sense, did it? Mm -mm. The first question might be a little controversial, but what's your opinion on monkeys? In monkey words, ooh, ooh, ah, ah. My very first webcam was a monkey named Mojo. I think Mojo was lost in a fire. You burnt it? He's no longer with us. What celebs have you met? I was in a cafe with one of my friends. It was you. And Conan Gray is standing there, staring right back into my eyes. To the left of him was Olivia Rodrigo. And I really wanted to say hi, but I didn't. And I let them enjoy their coffee. I don't even understand this myself, so I'm excited to see the answer. How do adults work? <laughs> what does that even mean? Adult get out of bed, adult shower, adult go to the grocery store, adult buy some bacon, adult make that bacon, and then adult sit down and watch a movie while eating said bacon. What's the most adult movie you can think of? The one where the pig is in it. Because of the bacon? Uh-huh. I'm scared to ask this. Do you want any more pets? I do. I honestly would really want a parrot that I can name Rachel. Thanks a lot, Rachel. Thanks, Thanks a, lot. a lot, you idiot. I want a mini golden doodle and I want to name it Rufus. What is your favorite Taylor Swift album? Ah, I hate picking. I don't think I could name a single song from any of the albums. Congratulations. Speak now. Because I like to talk. Why are you so funny? LOL. Wait, I wrote that? Trauma. You don't- Huh? You have trauma for real. Thank you so much. When you grow up in a family of people who have loud personalities, you therefore also develop one. I always wanted my personality to be the comedic relief. Whenever there's like a serious situation going on, he's like cracking Joke. Like goldfish, the snack that smiles back. Sometimes I'll look at Maddie and I'll be like, you're not giving goldfish. I've never heard you say that one time. You're not giving goldfish. What era are you in right now? I would call this current era that I'm currently situated myself currently. into. All the single yet very charming and hardworking ladies that are not ladies, but still have a lot of lady friends that like to get along with girls but kind of also want to start being friends with guys, but struggle because of their, there's a weird disconnect about not knowing enough sports. That is my era. I'm in that era too, I guess. You're in it with me. I hear you when I see you when I feel you. Uh, Moving on to the boiled or very, why is it wet? When you boil something, it involves water. Oh, you're right. Moving forward to the boiled category. Mid-tier. Okay, getting into it. Why did you start YouTube? I didn't have friends. That's how it all happened. It started when I felt like I was in the wrong crowd of people in school, but I didn't know how to find my people. So I made a bunch of weird tutorials about how to break your phone when it ring toss and submerge your phone in slime. Hey YouTube, it's Carter, and today I'm gonna be teaching you how to win a ring toss. You all have to grow. And I grew vertically. What's your favorite video you've ever made on YouTube? Ooh, Squish Mom Hunting with Kate. It was just a very raw and friendship building experience. On top of that, I got to bring you guys with me, which was so fun. <gasps> Oh my goodness, this is a little juicy. Are we getting into them? We're getting into them. Ah! What's gonna be your first drink when you turn 21? Whatever someone gives me. You just want me to like hand you a truly. I don't know. My first drink is not gonna be anything that comes out of a metal can. You know what I really, really want? What? So I'll tell you what I want. What I really, really want? So a do. mint julep. It's the drink that is found in Disneyland. I've sniffed my sister's before. It smells phenomenal. What made you start a Squishmallow collection? I was having chronic neck pain and I really hated my pillow. So I went to Learning Express in Georgia where I knew that they had gigantic soft fuzzy pillows and I bought five and I felt no regret that's where it spawned Why was your neck in pain? I think growing pains If you weren't an influencer, what would you be? Or a content creator You're more than an influencer Oh, thank you I love that we both mutually agree that being called an influencer is like It's gross The most popular version of the job I'd want to have is an Imagineer which is a person that works at the Disney parks to create new experiences and immersions What do you think the most innovative attraction is that you've seen in person? Hagrid's magical creatures and motorbike adventure Who's the drop that got me? Don't spoil. That's my dream job, and if you have that job, I'm jealous of you. How are you so energetic all the time and positive? A D H D A D H D A D H A D H D A D A D H D A D H. What's the plane? 
What's your celebrity crush? Megamind. You know he's freaky. That newscaster lady got lucky. What's the 21st most recent picture that you've taken? Oh no. Wait, you know it or just you can't use your I phone? I can't use my phone. Fergalicious definition, make them boys go loco. Why do you look like that? I was cosplaying. <gasps> the next category. Oh no. Burnt, not turned. Mm -mm. I'm ready for it. I've really done some processing and thinking and I think I'm finally able to accumulate words. Really? I think so. How old were you when you realized you were gay? It was 14. I became moderately obsessed with a couple guys in my school. I had a friend crush on them, or so I thought. I'm pretty sure everybody can say this is how it starts. You kind of watch these guys and you almost develop a, a longing to be their friend. And then after a while you're like, oh, Shoot, maybe I don't want to be friends. I support the idea that everybody has a right to not need a label. Yeah, of course. And I still to this day feel like I'm fully not comfortable with putting a label on myself. I like to be me. I like to wake up in the morning. I like to get jiggy with it. How did you come out? <laughs> it was a slippery slope, I'll tell you that much. My dad asked if I could pick him up from the airport. This was when I was 18. Like there would be random months where he would ask if I had any ladies in my life. I was friends with a ton of girls, so I don't blame him. I think he might have been a little jet lag because on the car ride home, he just started questioning me. He opened it up with, so do you like boys? I was caught so off guard. I remember saying, I don't know. I told him. I was confused and then he told me that he would love me no matter what mm -hmm. and that my entire family supports my every single decision. So they were super sweet about it and they made me feel very comfortable. I've never felt the need to come out. For sure people knew. I mean, look at me. To anyone that's also going through a similar confusing path, don't try and compare yourself to anybody else because everyone has their own journey and just because somebody is pointing a finger at you and calling you something does not mean that's who you are. You're so beautiful, I'm cry. Thank you so much, Flower Puff Girl. Is there a video that you regret posting? Oh my goodness. Sometimes creators will feel the need to put out more quantity over quality. I'll throw out one example. I was in Puerto Rico for one of my friend's birthdays and we were having a good time and I wasn't making a single video when I was there. And so on the very last day, I felt like I was super pressured just by myself to go out of my way to make a video. I took a wee wee walk walking around with it, showing it to birds, and then eating it. And I was like, oh, this is funny, it will do. And I remember being on the plane ride from that trip back home, going and looking at the video again and deleting it. When you like aren't actually excited about something, it's not gonna come off as authentic. And with that being said, poop rainbows and pea butterflies. And with that being said, what's the worst part about being a content creator? When you have a friendship that takes the social media aspect of it and puts it on blast, you get a little weary of the authenticity of that relationship and if both parties are in it for the right reasons. I think that might be the hardest part, especially when it comes to meeting new people. You kind of have to look out for yourself and you have to look out for what other people's intentions are. I think it is why so many creators you see kind of stay in their rooms. <laughs> yeah, we don't go out. This is a really funny question, just given his personal history with this very specific question. On a scale of one to 100, how happy are you? I wish I had someone else here and we could come up with the same answer and say them on the same time. 69. Shut up, you should have counted down. I was going to say that too. No. Can you yeah, do it again? Yeah. Okay, three, two, one. 69. 69. No way! I knew you were You're kidding! kidding. Yeah! Oh. Nah, 17. That brought it down that many points. Are you single? No. <laughs> Wait, I want to know this so bad. What does Y-E-S spell? Yes. With that being said, I try. I keep doing me. And if someone comes along that wants to do me with me, then we can do it together. And that will make an X for the X chromosome that I don't have. You have an X chromosome. Shoot. Is that what makes a man? This is the last question. Already? Why does this have a question mark at the end? <laughs> red flags in someone that's kind of hot? Fire. I think gay men, no offense, have a lot of red flags. Thank you. Red flags in men. The end. It's every. It's. it's <laughs> It is men. <laughs> What's the biggest red flag that you've encountered thus far in men? Oh my goodness, when people don't show you their heart. It's upsetting. I'm a personable person. Look at this. I got squishmallows on my wall. I can't invite someone over and be like, I have no personality because I wear it. No more hiding who I'm meant to be. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> and with that, I'm gonna end this here. Happy 21st birthday from me to myself. And thank you guys for caring about me. And thank you guys for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, you're not invited to my birthday or my wedding. Sing it for your mama, A. Eh? Sing it for your papa, A. Eh? Sing it for the whole world for your boy or girl for your number one fan. CK on the beat, okay? I'm a human, 808. Go ahead, go and sing it, don't stop, because the beat won't stop. No way, way, way. <laughs> First the cake and now this. Bye bye.